My name's Brad Rusbridge. I'm the assistant curator at the Ian Potter Museum of Art. Andrew Hurl's Commonwealth Bank Money Box was first exhibited at the Potter in 2012 in an exhibition called Post Planning, curated by Bala Star. It was subsequently purchased by the Potter for the University of Melbourne Art Collection. The work is a greatly enlarged version of a child's money box, a supercharged replica of the type that were popular among school children from when they were first released by the bank in 1922, right up until the early 80s, at which point they had become freely distributed in classrooms. It's modelled on the actual Commonwealth Bank building in Pitt Street, Sydney which displays this classic banking architecture, uh, solid and unbreakable, kind of like an impenetrable fortress. As you can see, Hurl has extended his money box much, much further, something that represents perhaps the skyscrapers that we now see in our cities as they continue to grow and grow. The work, I think, makes us think of our aspirations towards the attainment of wealth. And these are ideas that are perhaps instilled in us from quite a young age. This endlessly repeatable and expansive facade of the building reflects what some might believe to be capitalism's endless potential for growth and prosperity available to any and all individuals who diligently scrimp and save. And what I like about this work is that Hurl leaves it up to us the viewer to decide how relatable this is as a concept. Do we buy into this dream? Uh, is, is the system of perpetual growth that is alluded to here actually sustainable? Does it work for everyone? And how do we personally measure up to this as an aspirational standard? <laughs>